Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, retired physician and very active medical preparedness writer. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, a nurse practitioner, we're the founders of the survival medicine website, www.doomandbloom.net, as well as the authors of the number one Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, and the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, as well as the designers of Doom and Bloom's Survival, a fun way to get the whole family interested in the preparedness mindset. Whew, that's a lot. Antibiotics are essential tools for success in long-term survival, but the government, the food industry, and some physicians and patients are fostering widespread resistance to many of the standard drugs. More than 2 million diagnosed cases of antibiotic resistance were reported in the United States in 2013, leading to 23,000 deaths and causing $30 billion in health costs. As a physician, I was often asked by patients in my practice for antibiotic prescriptions for certain ailments, some of which these medications really weren't useful for. Antibiotics deal mostly with bacteria, and many respiratory and other infections are caused by other disease-causing organisms, such as viruses. I was always very cautious when it came to prescribing these medications, and as a caregiver, you should be also. Now, this doesn't mean that I think that antibiotics aren't useful, especially in survival scenarios. In situations where modern medical care isn't available, they're going to prevent many otherwise avoidable deaths. You should have a good supply of these drugs in your storage and other videos on this channel discuss which you should have and their veterinary equivalents. If you use antibiotics for every minor ailment that comes along, you're going to run out very quickly and you may contribute to an epidemic of antibiotic resistance in your community caused by overuse. In survival, the medic is also a quartermaster of sorts. You're going to want to wisely dispense that limited and, yes, precious supply of life-saving drugs. You have to walk a fine line between observant patient management, doing nothing on one hand, and aggressive management, doing everything on the other. Liberal use of antibiotics is a poor strategy for a few reasons. Overuse can foster, as we mentioned, the spread of resistant bacteria. You might remember the salmonella outbreak in turkeys in 2011. Millions of pounds of antibiotic-laden turkey meat were discarded after 100 people were sent to the hospital with severe diarrheal disease. The food industry is responsible for 80% of the antibiotic overuse in the United States. This is not to treat sick livestock, but to make healthy livestock grow faster and get to market sooner. According to National Geographic magazine, only 7% of some 400 antibiotics given to livestock have received review by the Food and Drug Administration. Another reason to use antibiotics sparingly is that potential allergic reactions may occur that could lead to anaphylactic shock. Frequent exposure to antibiotics increases the likelihood of developing an allergy to one or more of them. Lastly, being sugar-happy with antibiotics can make diagnosing an illness more difficult. If you give antibiotics before you're sure what medical problem you're actually dealing with, you might mask the condition. In other words, symptoms could be temporarily improved that could have helped you know what disease your patient actually has. This could cost you valuable time in determining the correct treatment. You can see the judicious use of antibiotics under your close supervision is necessary to fully utilize their benefits. In survival settings, discourage your group members from using these drugs without first consulting you. In normal times, of course, seek a qualified medical professional. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. To find out more about antibiotics and their usage in survival settings, get a copy of our three-category Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, a great way to succeed even if everything else fails. Mm -hmm.